G'day. Well, this is just a quick video uh, update while it's fresh news. I got some very bad news yesterday, and um, that was that our darling cat Suki was put down during an operation. It was an exploratory operation because um, she'd been losing weight for some time, and even though uh, we took her to the vet months ago to get the bloods and everything done, um, they all come back fine. And she did put a little bit of weight on when we bought some special biscuits from the vet, but yeah, she's continued to lose weight. So we, um, well, she was taken to the vet, and he found a lump in her intestine area. So he kept her overnight, which means uh, we didn't get to keep her at home here and say goodbye to her even. But um, so yesterday morning, uh, while I was out doing a short film shoot actually, the uh, word came back that, uh, well before that the x-ray said that there was a mass in her intestine. Uh, and that's what the exploratory was for. Uh, word came back, uh, yes, it was uh, cancer. It had spread through her intestines, but also into her bowel and uh, many of her lymph nodes. So um, Apparently the option was uh, that there was no option. Um, and he, in fact, said even if uh, we didn't give permission, he uh, would still be putting it down. So, just out in the yard here. So, um, yeah, ethically, he had to put it down for um, humane reasons. So, again, um, there was a person or non-person in my life I didn't get to say goodbye to, which uh, this is not about that, but didn't really get to say goodbye to... Oh, well, I didn't get to say goodbye to my mum or dad. Or uh, friends in my life that I've lost... Uh, though, um, fortunately, they went through death. Um, I'm all right at the moment. I've got a mate about to turn up, so I guess maybe that's helped my composure. But, uh, yeah, I certainly went through extreme anger yesterday when I found out. And, uh, consequently, as I found out more details, um, yeah, the sadness, uh, I don't... I don't even know, and I feel a bit guilty saying this. I don't even know if I cried that much. I think I did, though, when Mum died three years ago. She was a very, very loved little girl. Uh, I will be uh, putting some images of her over this uh, recording, as you've probably already seen. She was, I believe, 16 going on 17. She was born in 2000. So she leaves behind her mother, which is a year older, whose name is Meow, and her sister Tippy, my little darling, and um, also Teddy, which you've seen on a few videos if you follow my channel. And now, coincidentally, call it fate, call it whatever you want. In fact, comment on it if you uh, have any ideas on this. Uh, there's another little cat that I call Big Eyes. When you see photos, you'll see why. Uh, it came basically to live with us a few days before Suki died, and I had a feeling that it was kind of there to soften the blow. So, And I'm not overly... I won't use the word spiritual, because that's the wrong word. Um, this is just a... Uh, my uh, pet rainbow lorikeet came to me the day or two before my mum died and it was suggested actually, um, who knows, maybe it was sent by my father who died many years ago as uh, not a coping mechanism but uh, I think you know where I'm coming from. Anyway that's the sad update and uh, she was extremely well loved. Everyone that ever met her uh, loved her a lot. So um, her body was picked up yesterday afternoon um, and uh, she's being cremated. I always thought that I'd bury them here in the yard, you know, as they slowly popped off, but um, well, look, it doesn't matter. 
and uh, at the end of the day you can't bring them back. So She was still limber when I got home, so that was probably heading towards two hours after she was, I guess, given the green dream on the operating table. Uh, clearly she wouldn't have felt anything. And the other point too that, unfortunately, as humans we're pretty well unaware of unless there's outward signs of it. Um, she most likely was already in pain, especially with a huge distended intestine and the associated cancer. So um, she so showed no signs of discomfort. Uh, even the night before, she still came into bed and you know, slept on the pillow and meowed and looked at me. So uh, you never know. But certainly didn't think it would be such a sudden thing and certainly didn't think that it would be... Um, such a fast result from taking him back for a routine check to see why she'd still continue to lose weight. So there you have it. So rest in peace, Suki. You're one hell of an awesome cat. And uh, above all else, yes, I'm sad for my loss and our loss, but I'm always happy for the memories that you've always given us. And no one can ever take that away. It's the same with people. And I've always said that. And uh, rather than feel how uh, how shitty everything is, let's just look at the fact that um, she was with us for such a long time when it could have been a lot shorter. So, yep, I was just obviously hoping it would be a lot longer. Okay, thanks for watching and um, you all the best. I will put some new videos up soon. Thank you. Sweetie, what you got there? Cheese? He said, I know there's cheese in there. How the do cheese. I get to the cheese? Bye, cheese. Cheese. You know, they, cheese. They did something with this thing no before. <laughs> it's got the wrong idea. Just, how do I do this? Oh, when you were inside before. <laughs> yeah. They took the cover off and gave him some cheese. Okay. Gave some cheese. Oh, rock on mm. It's not cheese. <laughs> well, it's not cheese. Oh, cheese. Celery. Carrot. Anything. Anyone want a coffee or a tea? No, I'm fine. No. Yes, please, but look. Yeah, I'm videoing it. Who <laughs> <laughs> okay. the cheese? I can see the cheese. It's white man magic. I can smell the cheese. What is this dark magic? <laughs> it's an old Jedi mind trick. So gay. This is not the cheese I'm looking for, okay? This is not the cheese I'm looking for. It's okay. These are not the crackers you eat. Oh. <laughs> oh, she said take the lid off. Take the take lid off the off cheese. Off, lid off the cheese. Oh. It's